Hello everyone, welcome to Mini Orange. In this video, we are going to set up SAML single sign on for ASP.NET web applications using Azure AD as IDP. Let's get started. Follow the instructions in the link displayed on the screen to install the Mini Orange ASP.NET Samuel module, or you can access the link in the video description for more information. Once the plugin is installed, open your browser and browse the connector dashboard with the URL showing on the screen. If the registration page or login page pops up, you have successfully added the Mini Orange SAML SSO connector to your application. Register or log in with your account by clicking the Register or Login button to configure the module. After login, click on Plugin Settings tab, and you will see the Identity Provider list here. This module is compatible with all the IDPs showing on the screen, and all other SAML compliant IDPs. If your IDP name is not on the default list, you can configure your IDP using the Custom IDP option. Select the Azure AD from the list and click on it. For ASP.NET SAML configuration, you will need IDP metadata, which can be found from your application admin dashboard. Here, we will be using Azure AD as IDP. Let's configure the Azure AD as IDP. Log in to your Azure AD portal. From the menu part of the left-hand side, select Azure Active Directory option. If you have a premium subscription, select Enterprise Application option. Otherwise, you can click on App Registration option. Click on New Application option. Click on Create Your Own Application option. Enter the name for your application, and select Non-Gallery Application option. Click on Create button. You can see your application is created. Now go to Single Sign-On option. Select Single Sign-On method as SAML. Click on Edit option against basic SAML configuration. Here you need to fill up the entity ID and reply URL, which you get from SP Metadata. For SP Metadata go to the ASP.NET SAML module. At the right side of the screen, you will find the service provider metadata. You can have three options to provide the metadata to your IDP. Copy the required URLs, and paste them into the corresponding fields on Azure AD. Click on Save button. By default, the following attributes will be sent in the SAML response. Under SAML Signing Certificate, you can find the App Federation Metadata XAML file, download the metadata file it will require later. To assign users to your SAML application, go to Users & Groups tab. Click on Add User or Group. Click on Users to assign the required user. Search for the appropriate user and select it. Click on Select button. You can see the user is selected, now click on Assign button. Go to SAML module, and click on Upload IDP Metadata. Click on Choose File button. Now, select the IDP metadata which we have downloaded from Azure AD. Click on Upload button. As you can see all the details are autofilled. Scroll down and click on Save button. After that click on Test Configuration button to test the configuration. Sign in with your Azure AD credentials. On successful configuration, you will get the user attributes. Now, you can click on click here link or you can also click on continue SSO integration button to further continue with the SSO integration. It will redirect you to the integration code section. Just copy paste the code snippet wherever you want to access the user attributes. I have pasted the code snippet here. Now, we will perform the SSO. For that, add the URL which is showing on the screen as a link in your application from where you want to perform SSO. As an example, I have used the SSO link as a button in my code. Let's see how it works. Go to your application URL, and you will be able to see the SSO link button, which we have added for SSO. Click on the SSO button. Sign in with your Azure AD credentials. You have successfully logged into your ASP.NET web application. Thank you for watching this video. For any other questions please drop us a query at info at